Alright guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to set the 3D space mouse. So basically those mouse are for 3D um, printing. Um, but to play with that mouse on Star Citizen can be really interesting because they have like six axle so you can rotate, twist, push and pull. So um, that can be really interesting um, to use that device to play on Star Citizen. So I'm going to show you a small tutorial to how to set those 3D space mouse. So you have different version, mine having 15 keys. You have also small version with only two keys or bigger version with more keys. So we're going to need two programs to achieve that. You will need VJoy. You will download and install it. And you will need also SX2 VJoy.exe. I will put the link in the description because sometimes they're a bit hard to find. So when you finish to install VJoy, you're gonna launch joy setting so you're gonna have a window like this you will have to set the number of button you have on depend which model you have so mine having 15 so I'm putting 15 and then I apply and then you can close it when it's finished sometimes they're gonna ask you to reboot the computer so that device gonna be recognized with the 15 keys after that, when you finish to download the second program, sx 2 vjoy you're gonna undecompress that file and use the program to launch it. So you open it. That message is there because I already opened it, so don't pay attention. You're gonna Open configuration GUI, and there you'll be able to set and config the 3D Space Mouse. My model is the Space Mouse Pro, so I'm gonna set the Space Mouse Pro, and you're gonna put everything on VJoy key 1 to key 15 and in your case if you have the two button style you're gonna put the first two keys I recommend you to uh, switch invert the Y, Z and Y, R axle otherwise your ships gonna work not correctly so when it's done you gonna start Sostizen Another thing is really important to do is to go in your graphic setting and set the full screen off because you will need to start an assist program to bend the keys correctly. So when you put full screen off, then you're gonna go in key bending, you're gonna launch, and I'm gonna show an example that you can set also on foot. So it's really important to understand that if you try to set it by yourself, it's not gonna work. See, I don't touch the, the mouse and my character moving by himself. I don't understand why he's doing that. So I'm going to show you how to fix the problem. So 
you have to press Ctrl Alt S and it's gonna show the access box to set your access correctly. So first thing you need to do is to choose the direction you want to set. So forward, see, you recognize it, I double click and it's going to apply correctly to make it work properly. Same thing for left, right. So I do left, you recognize the X axle, I double click and then it's going to set the movement. When it's assigned and you finish, you press Ctrl Alt S to turn on at uh, the turn of the access box, and then now everything is working as a joystick. So the same thing needs to be done for every axle. So for your shift movement. Uh, you have different option you can set only the strap if you want so forward back up down and uh, left right but you can also experiment the rotation axle if you want so you're gonna control all your ship with only one hand so I'm gonna show you how to do it So let's say the pitch, so if you want to be able to use the pitch like a joystick, you have to bring back the box, you do the pitch movement, and it's recognized, and on double click, and you're going to see the program set it correctly. There you go. I can do the ya either. So I twist, you recognize it, I double click, and there you go, is apply the movement again. And let's do the roll either. There you go. So I did the same thing either for my axis so I apply the movement of the strap then the assistant gonna recognize the movement and you double click and you let the assist box apply your movement when it's finished I recommend you to remove with the mouse movement to remove them and should be okay now. Don't forget to press Ctrl S to continue.
So there is completing for the tutorial how to set the 3D space mouse. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask in comment. The link of the two program you have to download is going to be in the description. Um, just to let you know that if you want to use the 3D space mouse in Elite Dangerous, uh, you can do that either, it's not a problem, but you don't need to do Ctrl Alt S to set the key bending in Elite Dangerous because I don't know, the system is different, so you don't need to do Ctrl Alt S for Elite Dangerous. So if you have any question, don't hesitate it. Thank you for watching.